Uh, so there it is, my beautiful large rock. Yeah, so this is a construction site here and I just went in, so I rolled it all the way here. So it's gonna be pretty heavy. It does have some weight to it. It is fairly, uh, fairly heavy. There, that was pretty good. So I spent like, uh, <clears throat> spent about an hour in here yesterday, just kind of walking around and checking it out. It's, uh, it's the old bank at the corner of Main and Broadway different kinds of uh, rock and that kind of stuff. Usually a site like this will have a whole bunch of pieces of concrete which are to me valueless but if you look around you know you'll see you can tell by their shape and stuff. This one here is a nice uh, the smaller one here is kind of green shaped. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna just try it that way, see how it goes, and uh, try and see if I can get myself a bus now. The Rolling Stone, trucking along here. And here we can check the progress of the ever growing condo project over there and the many of them that are happening down Main Street. It's a little bit of a cold day here today. Uh, a little bit chilly. I'm gonna try and stand in the uh, stand in the sun here. Warm up a little bit. So we'll try this bus here. Uh, wait for this lady to get on. Okay, he's getting pretty close there. Coming down. Just gotta go to Georgia Street, my man. <laughs> Certainly I will, thank you so much. I'll give you my card in a second here. Oh, perfect. Okay. After here. Thank you. Yeah, ready to go. Thank you so much. Oh, let's get off of Georgia. Um, heading down to the park. Thanks to the kindly bus driver. Thank you so much, buddy. Okay, so that's the hard part of the journey, getting off the bus. So now I'm just gonna walk up Kiefer Street to Gore. So just rolling up uh, Kiefer Street here with the uh, stone. I think I'm gonna stop at this uh, construction site. Uh, briefly because I've taken a bunch of stuff uh, as I've gone by over the months. Well, it's coming up on Gore Avenue here. Done with the hill. Get off the street so I don't get hit here. OK, 
okay, so we're just at the fish store corner here. Got lots of fish here today. Looks like they got some salmon. Everybody's having a break now. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Look at these beautiful fish here. Wow, beautiful. Uh, so you got some folks over there that are going around the neighborhood and handing out some to drink. And I think sanitizer and stuff like that. So good for them. Yeah, so I've decided to kind of, I'm just going to kind of trench uh, like right in this area out and uh, make a space for the rock right here. It's important to, uh, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you got something like that, somebody, if you make it easy, somebody can possibly come push it down the street. But if you kind of trench it in a little bit, make it a little bit more permanent, then it can be a bit easier. Okay, so that's a nice size kind of hole for that. So uh, I'm just gonna see uh, gonna see how well that works. Put that right there. So that looks pretty good there. Uh, it's got some of the red paint of the uh, uh, the cart has come off on it. I'm just going to kind of move it around here and see see which kind of way I like it here. Trenched it out uh, a little bit more on the front here, so uh, let's take a look there. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Uh, putting the rock and the dirt back on around it, around the rock. I think it may be right here. I could put that plant. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring the pick down again, kind of clean this out a bit. But. And uh, this sat on my balcony for a long time and I should have planted it long ago, but I didn't get around to it. And then I just sort of put it in this dish with a bunch of water. It seems to have brought it back a lot. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with the roots too much, just open them up a bit. I put these things in here before and they didn't do too well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that works really nicely there. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, make sure that gets put in there nice and firmly. Yeah, so I think this all works pretty good. Um, I like the nice sunny weather, but I'm hoping for a little bit of, I'm starting to think like a farmer here. <laughs> I'm hoping for a little bit of rain here so that we can get this nicely watered in. I guess during the heat of the summer, I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of a process for getting this all watered up here, because I got this done here. Uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon in the Vancouver. Uh, it's gonna put the camera down here for a second kind of footage we get. Yeah, 
yeah, just a little, uh, dig a little hole here. We can just put a flower in there, it'll look a little bit more together. And there's this one that's kind of hiding here. Uh, it looks pretty happy. Put that down there. There, that looks not bad. A little bit more dirt around there. Oh, thank you for saying thank you. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's it. I put my shovel away. I was gonna go across the street and uh, talk to the uh, people about getting some water. I'm not sure if that's possible, but I think I can get a, I'll put the hose up. Not for today. I don't need the water for today. I should have brought some down for that little plant. I'll bring some maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to go across the street there and talk to them about... Uh, oh, they got a guy posing there. Very good. Uh, I'm going to go across the street here and see if I can get some water, like hook up to a hose or something. I haven't really figured that part out yet. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth out the footprints there a little bit, see how it goes. Anyway, Sunday, uh, 9th of May, probably about 1 p.m. So, uh, there's the new big rock in this garden, in this rock garden. And it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's good for a day's work. I just gotta bring down a few more rocks and a few more plants and Bit by bit, so it goes.